gems what's good what's up what's popping so welcome back to my channel queen gem beauty so today we're going to be talking about three products i'm going to do a first impressions for you guys and so the three products i received for free from octoly and yeah octoly is basically just a site for beauty influencers like me or even like yourself where you can just sign up you do have a criteria to meet but you can sign up with it for this website and basically if you do meet the criteria you will end up with a free store where you can choose from tons Tons and tons of different products whether it's Lancome, Da Vinci, Estee Lauder, Becca, you name it you got it okay so they definitely have a good wide variety of different products that you can check out on their site and all you have to do is basically choose the product that you want let the brand know why you want it and if you are accepted by the brand they ship the product to you and then all you have to do is go ahead and give them a review give the review of the product and also let everybody know that you received the product free from Octoly so I got three products and I wanted to go ahead and do a first impressions with you guys it is date night so I thought what better way than go ahead and hit y'all with a first impressions go ahead and beat my face so i can be ready for date night okay so let's go ahead and get into the video okay gemstone so in today's video we're going to be testing out a couple of products i'm um, showing you guys some products that i got from octoly and just kind of testing them out and i saw these products on there and i was like you know what i've been wanting to try these for a while i just kind of like i never really purchased them so i figured what better way is then to jump into these new products then go ahead and see if I can get them from Octoly which they went ahead and sent them to me so first uh, two things that are up are two Becca products the first one is the ultimate coverage complexion cream I have this in the shade mink and here is what the foundation looks like everybody in their mama pretty much knows but hey I wanted to definitely test it out and see how I would like it so here's what the foundation looks like and it's just a pump and you can just pump it out it is a full let me see yeah you do get one full ounce in this bottle and then of course here is the primer and you get a one full ounce in the primer as well and this is the velvet blurring primer perfecting base so I'm really excited to try this out because I've wanted to try this for a while and this also has a pump as well you can just pump it out I really like the way these products look the next product that I got as well to try out for you guys was this Sasha buttercup now everybody in their mama talks about this Sasha buttercup but I watch Nitra B um, and you guys all should know who Nitra B is but she raves about the Sasha buttercup um, setting powder so when when I saw this on here I definitely had to pick it up so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you guys can see what it looks like it's just supposed to be like kind of like a banana powder but better um, I know it should be definitely better than the oh my god what is that setting powder called the Ben Nye setting powder that is what it's called so I heard that it's supposed to be definitely better than the Ben Nye setting powder so here's what the Sasha buttercup powder looks like oh my god you guys you get so much in this thing like I'm going to be living in setting powder, okay? So you get a full, let's see, oh my gosh, you get 1.25 ounces of this product. And you guys, it's super yellow, so I'm hoping that it looks good under the eye. But I've seen light skin to dark skin girls use this, and it always just looks bomb. So I'm excited to try this out. So let's go ahead and get into testing out these products. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this Becca primer. I'm super excited to try this out, you guys, because I heard that this primer was bomb, but I'm like, okay, I really want to try this primer out because it says that if you're an oily girl, maybe combination skin, you're going to love this stuff. So I can't wait to test it out myself. Um, I did already go ahead and prep my skin, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this primer. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, Jim, so so far I'm liking this primer. It felt really smooth on the face. I just was not ready for the way it came out came out kind of liquidy so I don't know if that's how it normally is supposed to look but yeah and so far I'm really liking it it does feel really soft on the skin um but I can tell that it's going to keep me matte like this is definitely a matte primer so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and jump into the foundation so the foundation that I have again is the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream and I have mine in the shade mink I'm just going to apply mine with my real technique sponge that's how I apply all my foundations so 
I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and just take a pump on my hand and apply that and then see how it looks and then if we need to go a step further I definitely will but I'm super excited to try this out because this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation <laughs> and one side without it I really like this foundation I feel like I picked out a really good shade it was kind of hard to pick out the shade on Octoly but I feel like Meek is definitely a good shade for me and I definitely feel like I've been out in the sun a lot lately so this is going to be perfect definitely for the summer but this looks really good on the skin you guys it feels very light it covers very well as you guys can see I have like some hyperpigmentation and stuff like that it co definitely covered up like the little freckles and spots I have on my nose like this just uh, I really like this foundation it looks really good it doesn't feel cakey or anything so so now I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and finish the rest of my face with the foundation I I'm feeling this <laughs> foundation like oh my god this looks so a bomb it looks so good like my skin it looks like skin though it is still a full coverage foundation it it's not super super matte I still feel like a little bit of a luminosity to the skin it just has a nice natural matte type of finish um it doesn't feel cakey on the skin like it covers so freaking well I don't know. I've been sleeping under a rock with the Becca products, honey. This is like super bomb. I do have a ton of Becca, you know, highlighters, but I've never just tried like the foundation. So I'm super excited I was able to get this from Octoly. You guys, this just looks so bomb on the skin. Okay, Jim, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my LA Girl Pro Concealer Concealer and I'm going to go ahead and highlight. That way I can test out the Sasha Buttercup Powder because I am too juiced to try this out because I heard it was so bomb. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to highlighting. concealer with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder you guys I heard this stuff was like so bomb so I'm super like juiced to try this out right now so here's what it looks like it does seem like it's super yellow so I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys really quick oh but it is like a really like finely milled powder you guys this look is gonna be bomb because look how it's just like kind of like blending in I'm too I'm too excited to try this out. So let's go ahead and set my concealer. Okay, Jim, so I'm back set from setting 
covering my face with the Sasha Buttercup oh my god like literally it is not cakey under the eye it's not dry at all it doesn't make your makeup look cakey like this looks really really good like I'm just super excited to see like once I contour my face and how like fully my makeup comes together because this is just bomb like it just looks really really good now the true test is like does it have any flashback or anything like that but most of the time I really don't feel like any of my setting powders give me flashback but some of them do have horrible flashback but that would be like the true test but you guys this looks so good like oh my god I can't wait to take pictures and post on my Instagram because tonight is date night and so this right here has just got me feeling like super flawless it's set around my mouth really well like oh I'm, I'm loving this powder so far so I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face off camera and then I'm gonna come back to you guys with my full face everything done and then I'll tell you guys how I feel about these products that I have tested out for you okay Jim so I am back with my finished face and let me just freaking say I am so impressed with these products so we're gonna do a little bit of a product rundown I'm gonna tell you guys um, my thoughts about these products really quick I'm trying to do it really fast I don't want to keep you guys too long so first up on the block is the Becca Bl velvet blurring primer perfecting base you guys I love this stuff like my foundation went on so smooth it laid down really well I feel like my pores are smaller than normal like it just looks really really good it looks like I almost have a filter on my makeup like in real life like in real life my makeup looks just so freaking bomb like literally you guys my makeup looks so freaking good I'm just so blown away I do want to say that this retails at Sephora for $38 and in my book it is definitely worth the coin okay it's worth the hype like I am absolutely blown away by this primer and it's been a while since I've had a primer that has just been so bomb that I'm just like oh I can tell you right away that I am going to want to repurchase this. I just absolutely love the way my makeup looks. I feel like my makeup is going to hold up really well. My skin actually feels really good underneath. You know, sometimes you can put on a matte primer or a primer that has like that mattifying property and your skin just feels really tight and nasty underneath your foundation. I'm not having that problem at all. So I'm very impressed by this. Um, again, Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. Oh, what a mouthful. But again, like I said, I definitely think this is going to be worth the coin so next up on the block is the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream foundation now I had tested this foundation out before um, just little sample sizes from Sephora but I always felt like I had the wrong shade I think I had tobacco and it just was not not popping so I went ahead when I picked out the shade on Octoly I went ahead and picked out mink because I just felt like that would probably be a better shade it looks really nice on the Octoly's website so I was like you know what I'm gonna give Octoly a try and I feel like this matches me so freaking well it it just looks so good on my skin like I don't know if you guys have been trying have tried this foundation out let me know how you like it on when you're wearing it throughout your whole day I'm going out on date night so I don't know if I'll do a check in but I may do a check in but what I will say for now is that my foundation looks so good it looks just like you see it on camera that it looks bomb it looks bomb in person my skin looks like very smooth it covered up any of my hyperpigmentation that I had on my skin it just looks really really good and I do believe that this retails on Sephora for I want to say $44 something like that I think $44 and I, I really feel like this is almost like worth the hype like it is such a good foundation I, the only thing that I can say personally like in looking at the shade ranges is I feel like they need to add in a little bit more shades because I feel like there's some like tobacco and mink there's like a big gap in between because tobacco was definitely like way too light and then mink was like perfect but what if there's a person in between tobacco and mink do you have a shade so I do feel like maybe they need to add a couple more shades um to their shade range but so far I am really liking this foundation and it is definitely worth the hype everybody's been talking about this foundation for years and it is definitely a bomb foundation so I'm very excited that I got to try it out and last but not least up on the block is this Sasha buttercup setting powder y'all this is bae like 
my under eye feels like so smooth it looks very smooth it's not cakey and usually guys I usually put something under my under eye to help me with like my little uh, fine lines and wrinkles that I have under my eye I've always had those um, lines under my eyes even as a kid but this powder does not emphasize it it doesn't make it look crazy it's not dry and crusty it's not cakey this stuff just sets your face so freaking well it set my concealer my under my eyes look so smooth so buttery i am just super freaking impressed this powder is like super finely milled it's very very soft on the skin i didn't feel like it was just going to have my under eye suck up the moisture under my eye it didn't do that at all like i feel like a very hydrated underneath my eye along with my concealer and I've used like my drugstore concealer you guys I just went ahead and used my LA girl pro conceal concealer I didn't even try it with the high-end one and it looks this good I'm I'm like excited like what is it gonna look like when I pull out like my Estee Lauder concealer or my uh, my favorite one which is my Kat Von D concealer like how bomb is it gonna look then like if it does this with my drugstore concealer so I'm super excited about these products like I'm just I'm over over the moon that I got to try these and Anitra did not lie these oh it is bomb I need to look up the price for the Sancho Buttercup because I'm not sure how much it costs I want to say it's like 20 or 30 dollars or so but I'm not exactly sure the price but I will have everything linked down below so you guys can get the exact price on each product but yeah I am so excited that I have gotten these products to try out so gems with that being said I will go ahead and link my Octoly um, account down below so you guys can sign up for Octoly if you would like I also will link these products down below so you guys can check them out on your own if you would like because I definitely am feeling these I definitely feel popping for my date night like I'm ready to go okay I'm feeling cute I can't wait for Bae to get home so we can go out on our little date night yes yeah, so I'm definitely feeling this this whole entire look and I think these products are definitely worth the hype and the coin if you want to go ahead and purchase them I definitely will recommend them for you guys to test out and if you've already tried any of these products definitely leave me a link down below or comment down below and let me know if you like them what were your thoughts on them did you not like them just definitely give your girl some some feedback because I would definitely like to know what your, you guys think about these products um and with that being said don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and when you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the little notification bell that way you're notified every time your girl drops a video okay and yeah thank you for staying tuned I love you guys so much and with that being said like I always say gems it's not about how much it costs it's how you apply it so keep doing your thing and stay beautiful Mwah. bye gems